Hello and welcome to the GMS Magazine channel. In this episode I have an unboxing of Ultia. This is a super mega tiny, look how tiny it is, and I have very tiny hands, card game from Japan that I backed in Kickstarter and I received a few weeks ago. Has this been worth the amount of money that I had to back to get my hands on it? I'm about to show you. Welcome to the GMS Magazine unboxing videos. As you may or may not know, I am very, very keen on Asian games because, well, firstly, we don't see enough of them. And secondly, they have some absolutely incredible ideas that really have an awful lot to contribute to, to games in general. So I, I want to see more of them. If I could, I would just cover Asian games because they tend to be absolutely incredible. So when I get across another one or any other one in Kickstarter or anywhere else, I do my best to back it considering the considerable uh, difficulties that we're getting now with shipping from anywhere in the world with taxation and everything which could be topic for many many videos but in this particular case i came across ultia and i just had to to back it ultia is a trick taking game for up to three people where um well you have to guess the hand of your opponent so you can place your bet and it 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 plays you well as a trick-taking game. Uh, there aren't that many games balanced for three people, so that is another interesting thing that I wanted to do. Now, they came down to Kickstarter because they released this game in, I believe, 2018 or 2019, but they didn't have enough money to go mass production. So that's why they went to Kickstarter and... I can't imagine a better reason to want to do it that way. So, so that is brilliant. So they even got all the stretch goals, including getting to the shiny cover, like I might see here on camera that it has, there you go. It's not glitter, but it's got that glittery background to, to the letters. The box itself looks absolutely cute and adorable in its simplicity. It's just so, so nice. And the three little icons for the three players is they're just absolutely adorable. The back of the box has been very well used, even though I can't understand a word that's been said in here because it's kanji and I can't read it. Um, but I can see that it is for three people, that much I can guess, and about 30 minutes, which I can also guess. So what in the box? The box is actually, look, it's it's difficult to keep close because there's so many things inside. I'm really looking forward to taking a proper look at that. So, very thick box. I don't know if it is because of the size that make it sturdier, but very thick box. And we get some tokens. We're going to take a look at those tokens in a minute because there's something that we have to do with them. So I'm going to put them to the side. There's a few stickers apparently. Let's put this here for now. Let's take a look at this. I know that these have nothing to do with the game itself, but great graphic design, I have to say, and then some stickers that maybe can be used to create tokens or what have you. Okay. Let's bring them back so I don't lose them because I can be quite with this sort of thing and I'd rather not. Okay. And then we start with one set of rules in a language that I don't understand. Okay, this is in English, so that should be all right. This is also English, so that should be all right. This is again in kanji, so I can read it. This is the same. This is what to put here. And another one. And the last one. Okay, so these are for the players. And these are going to be the rules. Okay, so let's take a look first at the rules. This is an unfoldable thing, so I may need to adjust the camera 
in a second. So we get the rules. It would appear to be a very simple game. There's barely anything to it, which is very nice. I love how clean the design is. Absolutely love that. And yes, I know that unfolding it and refolding it will make this vulnerable to the passes on time, but there you go. That's the way it goes in this particular case. And then we get what I assume are going to be the player cards. The exploration plan list. So exploration plan name, plan four. Oh, these are like missions. I like it. Okay, these these are kind of missions. Oh, this this gives a very nice edge to this game. I like that. I wasn't expecting that at all. I thought it was just going to be the standard trick taking game and that, that would be the end of it. But no, no, this this got some missions and a percentage to complete. That's brilliant. What else? We have this beautiful token. suppose for the first player token or whatever it is but it looks absolutely delightful it, it just looks so nice <laughs> and I am going to this is a tracking something to track let me zoom in back again uh, assuming that this is going to work camera thank you very much so this is tracking a progress meter it goes from zero percent to a hundred percent. Very cute. I, I wish a mega huge company saw this and made a production bigger with proper cardboard things. That would be great. And then we have the cards, which have been joined by this little plastic thing, which is great because that way they will not get damaged. The material is a bit thin. And they have not been laminated, so they are going to be very prone to get dirty with uh, fingerprints. So, as usual, lamination is super recommended. The graphic design is flawless. I mean, it, plenty of space for absolutely everything. The simplicity in the design of, of whatever icon, whatever this means, is just, I mean, it's a moon. Evidently, it's so good how the progression or whatever it means has been created so at a glance you have everything also that's mercury oh, i didn't see that the names earth mercury mars jupiter saturn uranus no i refuse to say uranus i've always said uranus Fine, I don't care. Neptune, and then we go back to Mercury, Venus, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Mercury, blah, 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 blah. And we are getting different icons in here. So, oh, and a little star. Very cool. Okay, I, 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 as I said, I love the simplicity of, of the design in, in Altia. I think it's, it's just so good, so, so good. Even with Neptune here, and you can see how it has little dots for its moons. It's just so good. Right, let's get back here. And now we have some tokens. Now these were upgraded through stretch goals to become resting but they have little papers stick stuck to it so i'm going to on camera so you can see i'm going to unstick one of these and see what they are like and here they come that's one and then on the other side 
I, I hope I'm not messing things up. Uh, I'm guessing this is what I'm meant to do. I don't know how, I don't know if I'm going to have enough nails to do this. I have to say, whoever placed these, um, one thing is clear and is that they were not trying to make a life easy. But nothing worth it is ever easy, so they say. Uh, which means, oh, my dog is barking. Hello. Which means that they have never tried Gazpacho, because that is very well worth it. And believe me, it's very, very easy. So some people speak too much. No, it's not my case. So, okay, here we are. Here we are. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's cute. And that is super duper transparent. Now, I know for a fact that making this in resin is not easy to get this transparent. I know because I have tried. And the results were very mojito-like. Um, I don't know if there's a way that we can show you a photograph of what I mean. Um, it would be hilarious. If there were, um, we may have to sneak that into this video somehow. Um, and if you're interested, then ask me in the comments and I will explain the whole story as to where that mojito came from. Um, because it's quite a story. Oh, look at that. These tokens are just delightfully gorgeous. Um, it's, uh, it's one for each uh, player. So there are three players, three tokens. Super adorable. I don't know. I, I wish I had the talent to create something so cute with just a few shapes, very simple shapes, and yet they seem to be full of personality. Um, by the way, whoever stuck these papers um, to these tokens, I won. Boom. I've done it. There we go. Super cute. Uh, I can imagine this would be for tracking progress in the progress tracker that I've shown you earlier. So, quite frankly, this thing I paid about just under 20 euros for, I would pay the game. I don't know what the game plays like. Uh, I get the feeling that it's going to be quite fun and interesting. But this is just so adorably done. So cute and so cool that you would have to be foolish not to work, to get your hands on one of these. So, I hope you have enjoyed this because I promise you that I will. Thank you very much indeed. Thumbs up for Ultia. Thank you for being there and until the next time, I will talk to you very, very soon. Take care.